Hello, hello. Alphadelphia here. To escape the monotony of being stuck in my house, I used Blender, Twin Motion, and UE4 to model and virtually walk around my house. I'm just going to tell you right now, this is not a tutorial. It's more like a show and tell, you know? Just going around, looking at stuff. Towards the end of this vid, I'll go over the general things I did and refer to other vids where they explain it much better than I could. Start off the tour here, we're just going to go up these stairs that I used to use every day, at least twice a day. Fool the dark times. Fool the virus. Okay, if you stuck around, I'm going to tell you a little story from my childhood. It was a calm and sunny day. An awesome day. My birthday, in fact. My mom was in a rush to get out the door to take me to my grandparents' house. My dad and the rest of the family were already there waiting for us. And I was taking my sweet time, you know? I was a birthday boy. When my mom yelled the classic, If you're not out the door in one minute, I'm leaving without you. This uh, kind of freaked me out. And instinctively, I jammed a pinto bean up my nose. I got off a piece of art my sister did. It was a picture of a chicken for a contest at a local fair. The doctor ended up having to squirt water up my nose to make the bean swell up so he could grab it with tweezers until voila, he got it. They were pretty impressed that I had kept my cool during the whole procedure, so they gave me a yellow pterodactyl to eat. Finally showed up, my dad said, and I quote, Where have you been? Anyways. Happy 17th birthday, son. All right, we're here. This is the place. Not quite my temple. Hey, Greedy. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Hey. Now, what's the pet button here? Here's the kitchen with a bunch of cupboards, some poorly utilized corner space. Here's where my roommates and I break bread. And I just wanna say that I got all of these assets for free. I was able to find them like at sources like the Unreal Engine Marketplace, or importing some of the stock assets from the Twin Motion educational version. And I'll see sources that were a bit sketchier, like one that I was on about a month ago said it was free. But when I downloaded, I think it was a chair, it was like, We have triangulated your location based on your Gord's ESPN. Pay us $10,000 within 30 days or we'll send someone to collect. You know, just a big scam. This is the living room. So well made TV. Forgot to show you the laundry room. Well, it looks like this could handle the impact. <laughs> I'd show myself to the door, but there is no door. Not anymore. Let's check out the basement. Doing this was not only a good exercise for my modeling skills, but it was a good way to know my house better. For example, there's a crevice down in the basement that I did not know about. A squatter living in it. So when I found this guy, I was like, yo man, are you a squatter? And he was like, no man, I think you're the squatter. I was like, nah, man, no, that's not me. Then I started having like 
Fight Club flashbacks. I'm like, maybe I am the squatter. So I wandered out in the street. And after about three days of self-reflection and self-loathing, I came to the conclusion that I was bamboozled. So I dragged my ass in off the street back into my own home. And I was like, nah, nah, man, you're the squatter. And he was like, well, good. Yo, despite the gaslighting, he actually turned out to be a pretty cool dude. We actually went and got lunch. Of course, I had to pick up the tab, but whatever. My computer is getting very warm. Time to check out the upstairs. This is my roommate's room. This is my other roommate's room. This is my other other roommate's room. This is my room. Only the essentials. It's the bathroom. This is the attic. Not really much up there. So that was the house tour. Hope you- Wait, 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 wait. Hold up, hold up. There is something up there. Hey. 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 Are you a squatter? Well, that was the tour. Hope you enjoyed it. Well, anyways, there's a black SUV with tinted windows pulling off in the driveway. So I'll see you later. Maybe. Are you a squatter? So this is not really a traditional tutorial. I'm just going to be referencing videos I looked at and then mention some tips and tricks to fill in the gaps. My general workflow was make the base bottle and blender, import it into twin motion where I add some materials and assets. And I finally imported it into UE4 where I set up more assets and materials as well as set it up for the first person house tour. All the software I used was free, Blender being open source, Twinmotion using the educational version, and Unreal Engine 4, where you don't have to pay them royalties until your project grosses over a million dollars. Also, I just wanna say I'm fairly new to these programs, so if you find I'm doing something weird or inefficiently or just straight up wrong, please let me know in the comments. Also, please leave any questions you have there too, and I'll try my best to answer them. Starting in Blender, the first thing I did was get used to how to navigate it and use the basic controls. I made little cue cards here so I didn't have to constantly look up the thing again in case I forgot it, like how to. Also get used to switching between different modes, specifically for this object and edit mode. Object mode is where you can manipulate objects relative to the scene by either rotating, scaling, moving, etc. Edit mode is where you can change the shape of an object by adding or removing vertices, edges, or faces. Download the ArcPack add-on, the free version. 
and use that to make all the major parts of the house, like the walls, doors, stairs, etc. To learn how to do this, I followed this video by the CG Essentials. The trick for this was, you may notice that every time you click away from the Archipack object, these parameters go away, and then you have to go all the way back into the Archipack properties, click manipulate to enable that again. So I just mapped this to a hotkey or a shortcut key to make it a bit quicker. So I did this by right clicking on the thing I wanted to do here, which was manipulate and then add a quick favorites and then you just hit whatever button you have that is a shortcut key so i use q in this case there are others after i did this i filled in some of the gaps and the shapes and the geometry like this weird overarching thing here above the door by just messing around with the nearby objects in edit mode i extend the faces bridged edges until i got the desired shape i wanted be careful though, because if you change any of the ArcPack editable properties, like the length, the height of the ArcPack object, it will make that geometry you made in edit mode disappear. To get around this, I would just separate the desired geometry you made from the ArcPack object it was made on. I would also use this trick to make the ceilings and the floor. There is ArcPack floors, and that's actually what I use for my model, but they have some very detailed geometry, which can be very hard on your system to render, like if you want to use it in UE4, for example. So I would recommend just making simple faces for your floors and then adding in a texture later to get the desired detail, like the hardwood floor or the tiles. And speaking of textures and materials, if you want to just make a model of your house in Blender and not worry about bringing it into Twin Motion or UE4, you can just do them all now. But if you do plan on exporting them to there, you can just wait because a lot of the times there can be issues with the materials not transferring. So it's easier just to do them there. For the roof, I recommend watching this vid by Steven Ledger. And again, you can use that edit geometry trick to help close the roof up around the top of your home. Now it's time to import this into Twin Motion. If you don't have it already, you can go to this site here and download the educational version, which is free. You just can't use it for anything commercial. Once you have this downloaded, we're going to go back to Blender. And for this, I followed along with this vid by Blender Zen. He starts talking about how to export it at 1230. Once you're done importing into Twin Motion, again, I would learn the basics of just navigating around Twin Motion first to make things less frustrating, specifically the controls for ripping around in the window here, since they are very different than Blender. Very useful once you get the hang of it for navigating around multiple assets and larger landscapes, where Blender, I find, is better for focusing on one object at a time. Now we can add some stock assets and materials. And then once you're happy, or even remotely happy, we can begin the export to UE4. For this, I followed this tutorial by the rendering essentials. The only thing I did different was at the beginning of step five, enabling the plugin in the Unreal Engine. Instead of architecture, engineering, and construction, I selected games for the project category, and then picked the first person template. And then all the subsequent steps are the same. So we'll just speed the camera up here to eight, zoom in, and we can see our house here. Let's just delete some of this stuff. Now, if we play this hitting Alt-P, we can see that it's pretty dark in here. So we're going to have to raise the skylight up a bit. So while you can see that we can just walk right through walls, so we're going to need to add collision boxes. So let's just adjust the skylight here first, with the intensity up. That looks better. Put it up to 2.5 here. And it's important that we don't rebuild the lighting because it will make it a very dark place and will require more sophisticated lighting, which goes beyond the scope of this tutorial. Now for the landscape, I'm just gonna go over a snippet from this video by the Unreal Sensei. Now he's graciously provided this file that you can see at the Gumroad link and it contains auto materials for landscapes. And I highly encourage you if you're interested in making sophisticated landscapes, so not just the rudimentary one we're gonna be using in this tutorial, to watch this entire video. So we're gonna get that Gumroad file from there, unzip it, go to where it's saved and copy and paste its content folder into the content folder of the first person project. Now we're just gonna open up that auto landscape file, go into the materials here, select these three, and we're gonna export them to our first person project. So just right click here, click asset actions, and go down to export. And then choose the content folder of the first person project. Save these two. Now we'll go back into our first person project and make the landscape. 
in the modes drop down menu we're just going to select landscape and then leave the default settings as is hit create you can see that there's a landscape here it's just blank we'll go to where those materials were that we exported and for this we'll just use the auto landscape material so we're just going to modify this quickly so that we can hollow it out later on you'll see what i mean by that so under here we're just going to switch the blend mode from opaque to mask and we're going to right click landscape visibility mask select it then connect it to the opacity mask hit apply wait for it to load save it and go back into the main window we're going to right click our auto landscape material hit create material instance. Now we're going to drop this material instance into the landscape material slot here. And while the shaders are compiling, we're going to enable these three slots for the A material, as well as these three slots for the B material. We're going to add these surface textures here, the T Mossy Creek to the A material. So we'll put them in the respective color, normal, and roughness slots. And then we'll do the same for the B material, except we'll use the ground surfaces here. Then once our shaders are done compiling, you can see our nice grassy landscape and we can click our sculpt tool and use that to create hills. Play around with that until you get the desired effect. And then to carve out the basement, we're just gonna select visibility here. You can also adjust the brush size over here on the left. Hide everything so that you can see just the basement and Hollowed out. Unhide the entire house by clicking twice on this eye icon. Let's add collision boxes so we can interact with the meshes. Open up the mesh that you want to add the box to. Then go to the top left. Click collision. Add box simplify collision. And then just make it fit roughly around the mesh. Now we want to add this to meshes that we don't want our character to pass through. Like stairs, walls, and floors. Let's finish up adding materials and assets. You can find these for free at Unreal Marketplace. Import them from Twin Motion. You can also use Quixel Bridge to easily get Mega Scan assets in the UE4, which is pretty sick. And you can even make your own assets in Blender and then just import them into UE4. So as you're looking at your model more closely, when you set up the assets, you might notice more issues like clipping on these stairs here. So you can go back to Blender to fix this and then re-import just that part into Twin Motion again because I don't think ArcPack objects can be directly imported into UE4. Position it over the old one, reply materials, and delete the old one. And that's pretty much it. If you have any comments, suggestions, or questions, please leave them down below and let me know what you think. Oh, that was going to be better.